Hello YouTube, working on another hammerhead. This is another one. The other one, there was two of these in the box I got from Road King. Uh, this is actually like a cross peen hammer to me now. Which means you don't have a ball peen, you have a narrow edge. This is about, it's supposed to be a half inch. About a half inch. Okay, because this was sharpened like this. Like somebody was chopping with it or something, like using it for an axe. Well, it was pretty bad I just took it off because it was bent. The whole edge was bent over and like this. See how far it's chipped back? Well, we cut that much off. It was chipped back that far. So it's kind of an oddball hammer now. You know, this side's longer than this. But you'll be able to reach down in somewhere. It's still pretty warm. Shove my other gloves on, but we use different tools to uh, clean this up with. These are, they'll be in a video. I got these at a pawn shop. They had all kinds of tools. They're like a buck a piece. They don't have the fiber stuff and they work really good taking rust and smoothing the metal. I used a flapper disc, 120. And I used this on my drill. I use it going to drill that spongy looking uh, scrubby stuff it's really good for polishing so we have different things to polish with we could put a mirrored finish on that if we wanted to find the right stuff we just want a smooth finish it's not perfectly flat but get it on camera if you looked across there it's not gonna be exact it's just a hammer see but to me it looks better that way not bad there maybe a little off that way we still need to clean the inside with the Dremel tool. We'll use some of those sanding roll things and stones. And we'll have another hammerhead. So, thought I'd make a real quick short video. I did take a few pictures. I didn't want to take any video while I was grinding, stuff flying all over, dust, everything, even though I was outside. But you get the idea there how much we chopped off. There you go. Thanks for watching.